You know, I thought with, a, with a, a bit of a bigger stage we'd have more room back here, but it's just not the truth. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the host of Match Game Rebar here, right here. And ladies and gentlemen, it's Richard. Oh, 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 oh,
now it was so sad. Match game wasn't being played. Oh. Oh. But now match game is back in a new home. All right. Thank you, Thank you Rebar. Thank you. We couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier, you know. Uh, I've been uh, been jumped off the wagon for a little bit. To, you know, just to pull it along. Yeah, I did the workhorse, that's me. The stuff we're doing that, so uh Yeah, okay, hey, ladies and gentlemen, we know her as one of the great actresses of these last four generations. She's been a producer, a director, a writer, and a lover. I am a lover. Ladies and gentlemen, our favorite Kruger of all time, Miss Betty Summers. So good to be here. The sparkle in your eyes. And the sparkle of my caftan. Yes. yes. I've been, I've been right. smuggling lovers into hotel rooms so I don't have to pay for two people in this place. <laughs> I highly recommend it. Bring back the caftan. Bring it back. That's all I got. We're glad we brought you back, Betty. Thanks. From the so. <laughs> might recognize this young man, but it's not who you think he is. Oh, it's she, not. She, she, it is she, she, she. she. <clears throat> yes, you may not know this person, but you may. You look a little familiar. But she, 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 is not or in any way associated with that person. No. Who also has a door on their face. That's me. <laughs> is in the witness protection program. Yes, that person is. Yeah. But we have a different person who is awesome too, and very funny, and also has a door on her head. And yes. it's Gary Incognito! Yeah. It was a long summer, and uh, looking out on this beautiful audience, I can see that the rebar is a safe house. So I just want to let you know I'm in a little bit of trouble, so if the fuss shows up, please let me know. I am prepared. The stage is equipped with trap doors. I'll make a quick escape to Canada. Um, I'm not allowed to tell you what I did or with who I did it, but I'm just going to say, the writing was on the wall, and now they are going to forgive me. And, uh, yeah, just please. Um, I have costumes. If uh, people come, so just... Please, please, safe harbor, safe harbor. Well, you're always welcome here, Gary Incognito, whoever you may be. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> if you haven't seen our next guest performances around town. It's all right, Gloria. Hold it. Thank you. <laughs> I need a moment. <laughs> you're really emotional coming back to the stage. It's my hormone. <laughs> Glory, holy eyes. Uh... If you haven't seen our next Friends shows, well, you're missing out, ladies and gentlemen. Burlesque, singing, dancing, theater, drama, comedy. It's all there for you. And the English accent comes along with it. Yeah. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sylvia Stapleton. Woo! I love this fire trap. It's amazing. Nice. I know. There's the stage doors here, and they've actually put tape on the edge, so you know where the edge of the stage is. I've almost been to several times here at my show. So you know. It's so happy to see you guys here. I know. I'm glad to have you here. Don't you have a show coming up? I do. I do a regular show here every first Saturday of the month called Bacon Strip. Uh, next month, so it's our surprise birthday party. Well, not anymore. Well, no, well, it is actually because all the drag performers have to do suicide drag for that night. Oh, woo, so woo. I am choosing from my my assorted collection of drag songs that only I know, and they have to perform it that night. 
and uh, do it well, and the audience is going to actually vote on how well they did it at the end of the evening. So I've got a little bunch of nervous drag queens for the show. But it'll be fun. It's a crazy creative show, and there is free bacon. You know what? You may have seen him at Ivers. You may have seen him on QVC. But you've always seen him with burlesque girls and fancy rock and roll bands up and down this west coast and all across North America. Our curmudgeon of our hearts. Mr. Vincent Drambouille, ladies and gentlemen. An opening, wasn't that when Richard came out with the bicycle? Wasn't that amazing? I just, I don't understand why you have an elderly Filipino woman in the basket, though. I'm not quite sure. It's my part of community service. <laughs> How was your summer, Richard? It was great. So was mine. A lot of hot chicks out there this summer, I tell you. I tell you, I've been dating up the storm now that uh, you know, Casey Anthony and Amanda Knox are out of jail. It just <laughs> Fucking sweet. And, you know, now I hear those girls from 16 and pregnant are up for parole. Shit. shit. Wow. <laughs> we, wow. Yeah, we don't look at each other's you know cards before the show. That's fantastic, Vincent. <laughs> I have to write down my own jokes. <laughs> it's a good thing. Yeah. It's a good thing. I understand that Seattle is a city of style. A city of taste. Alcoholics. Yeah. People who enjoy bacon. Yeah. So does our next guest, Mr. Freddie King of Man. Yeah. I was the prince until my father died. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, off to a great start. <laughs> You look great. You look great. You look good. Oh, no, always. Of course. Obviously. Polyester is our friend, isn't it? It is, especially in the winter, because it's about 90 degrees in my own What do you got going on, Freddie? Do you have anything going on? Oh, uh, I have lots of stuff going on. I'm at the table right now, but I do Oh! Uh, I'm DJ. Say hi to a pony. I'm DJ a. Yes! Oh! He truly is the king of pants, ladies and gentlemen. These are very narrow. Especially when you're sitting next to him. <laughs> uh, DJ at the Eagle, I DJ at Per, uh, and I'll be in Cary at the Rebar. Oh, oh that's me, Cary. As a minor featured player, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Way to be minor. Fantastic. Yeah. So you're under 18. <laughs> that's what I say. And now, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it only works for some. <sighs> this is like this is the, the churchy part of the show. This is where I, I, I find my center Hallelujah. and I find my spirit. Amen. And, Amen. Shut up. And <laughs> I'm, I, 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 bring, I bring it home a little bit because this is what this person means to me. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, can we can we please give a warm welcome to my love? The prize butterfly, voice towelettes. Come on down. Hey, 
never got your drink. I, I'm calling dance off now. <laughs> you forgot your drink. Uh oh, I'll take it. What was your name, darling? I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. It's good Don't to see you. Don't you remember? Oh my God, it's Susan. It is Susan. Yeah. It's pleasure to have you here, Susan. Thank you. Our next contestant right over here is number 24. Number 24. Come on down, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. 24, you're afraid, aren't you? Why is that? Don't, don't walk away. We're not done. We're not done. 24 is... We're assuming she's buying drugs. Let's show she's doing. I want that guy right there. I want the one that's connected to the hair. Number 35, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. I want to play anybody who's 35. It's right here on the room. He's 35. There he is. You're a traitor, sir. You're a traitor. Aren't you the guy that delivers my paper? No. Pete, don't listen to that. Don't listen to that. What's your name, my good man? Micah. Pleasure to have you, Micah. Welcome. Micah's got a pee. So we're going to start with our friend Susan, of course, first. Yay! So, Micah, you, you're excused. Go ahead. Go pee. There he is. You gotta keep it professional. I would use the P energy myself to well up the comedy. Micah, let's post the PBR on his seat while he's gone. I do have a bucket here, but it's just for my use, so I didn't want to offer that. You know, you're really lucky, Susan. These new chairs don't have crabs. So, we're excited about King of the Rebar. Really? They're not the new chairs? It's your first time at Match Game? Me too. A or B, Susan? B. B it is. Are you guys ready? Up here. Ready for B. All right. Are you guys ready out there? <laughs> when you applaud like that, I like it. It's for me. All right. I know. They just crowned our friend Gadoff Hitler. Mr. Grease. Woo! Can you believe that? Adolf Hitler is now Mr. Grease. It's, a wow. fantastic. it's not because he's such a fantastic Greek citizen. It's because his blank is so greasy. So we're gonna, it's an easy one. No help from the audience, please. No help from the audience. So what we're doing here is I'm going to read this for you a couple more times, and then you kind of think of an answer. They're going to write down their answers. I know you can see what they're writing, but don't look. And you're just going to answer that. They just crowned our friend, Adolf Hitler, Mr. Greece. Not because he's such a great Greek citizen, but because his blank is so greasy. So it's Greece, G-R-E-A-S-E, rather than... Yes, greasy. Greasy, like chicken. Oh, greasy, like chicken, yes. like with a Z. Yes, with a Z. So greasy. Uh, yes. Consider that in your answers. So you're saying he's a greasy Greek? He's, he's a... Yes. No. Yes, greasy Greek. 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 I'm really glad to be here. They just crowned our friend Adolf Hitler, Mr. Greece. Not because he's Greek, but because his blank is so greasy. Are you ready? Up here, top table. Top table, are you ready? Top bottom table. Ready? <laughs> the top's in the bottom. Uh, Sorry. Yeah! I never used that one in four years. I never used that one. I thought I'd save it up for you guys. I probably should it for somebody else. All right. With his hanky. They just crowned our friend Adolf Hitler, Mr. Bruce. Not because he's such a great Greek citizen, Susan, but because his 
Blank. Pole? Is pole. Pole is racing. Pole! The fine answer. Pole. I would have been a little bit vague, like Wayne Dangler or something like that, but pole is a great answer. Pole. <laughs> wow. Wow. Gadolf Hitler pulled. Poles. I was just yeah. She watches the Yeah, I mean, uh, I was thinking you meant as That's in, good. Uh, as in for Poland. But that's just how clean we are. Because, uh, you know, rumor had it, he kept one of those. You're historically correct. Several. But, uh, you know, I have to know the guy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's it's been a weird relationship, but uh, we've we've been talking. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, every time I see him, granted, he's in jail now, and he's, he's trying to work his way out. He's, he's been pretty good. He does a lot of great things for... Uh, for uh, the warden, for instance, and because of that, uh, he has the greasiest mustache I've ever seen. Great mustache! Mustache. Oh no! Looking for pole. Looking for pole. <laughs> Looking for pole. Looking for pole. <laughs> Betty Summers, what's so greasy about our friend? Pole oh, oh, portal. Pole oh, portal. Oh. Because he doesn't. Gloria, you know a little bit about uh, greasy stuff. Well, I, a few things, a few things. And you know, as part of my witness protection program, I did have to work on this campaign. Um, his slogan was hometown hero. Um, but I do have to say that he has very greasy man kebabs. Man kebabs! Man kebabs! Hey! Man kebab equal four. Sylvia? Well, I can tell I need more alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. The normal answer, hair. <laughs> oh. Hair. Hair. That's so quaint. Um. Normal, isn't it? Yes. So, uh, normal. I need, I need more. Vincent Dramboli, our you know gay doc, he sat next to you. He Minute. has his cat pork butt. Uh, real front butt. Front butt. Front butt. Front butt. Front butt. Front right, right, right. You eat pork butt. Right. <laughs> well, you eat front butt too. You eat front butt also. I like it with a little tossed salad, if you know what I mean. Hey, oh. Gross. All right, um, Vincent. Um, uh, Vincent, uh, how greasy is our friend Adolf Hitler? Well, he's so greasy, his merkin is greasy. Oh. Volumes. Well, you know, not to, to speak of the, the kids' vernacular, Google that shit. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm well acquainted with Googling. But right on. Um, not because he's Greek, but because he is, his blank is so greasy. Well, it, it means uh, anal cavity, but hey. Gadolf Hitler would have a gassy chamber. <laughs> Drambuski, don't you? <laughs> I do now. <laughs> Susan, I've seen people win with one point, so you're looking good, Susan. Don't worry, you get another chance. We have two rounds, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Your chi has been aligned. While Susan is leaving. The energy has been released. 
Oh, uh, she's Jewish too, let's be real. Maybe selling the Tory shots, I'm assuming. I don't know. One point's a big deal. A or B, Mike? B. <laughs> no, you're cool, man. <laughs> B? Yes, sir. Alright, then. Spokane Stacy, the Girl Scout, our redheaded Girl Scout friend, oh. from Spokane, said, No one was buying my cookies last year, so I decided to sell my blank instead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, she got an easy one. <laughs> Spokane, oh, what part? Spokane Susan, the Girl Scout, <laughs> Said no one was buying my cookies, so I decided to sell my bike instead. <laughs> yeah, I know. Don't debate that one for too long. <laughs> Very good. I'm excited for you, Susan. I'm excited. I think we're gonna have our first dance off tonight because you look like a winner. Michael, your casual attitude inspires me. Are we ready, stars? Top table, bottom table's ready. Subwoofers. Ronnie, if you didn't have subwoofers. Nice. All right, Micah. Spokane Stacy, the girl, our red-headed Girl Scout, said, no one was buying my cookies, so I decided to sell my blank. Well, she's in the fur trade, right? <laughs> Keep on going, man. It makes my jokes seem good. <laughs> it's either, it's, it's gotta be, Make up your mind, man. Beaver or pussy? It's hey! Hey! It to be her, but we'll take pussy. Beaver or pussy? The man doesn't beat around the bush, does he? Oh, he sticks it right up there. See ya. You're great. You're doing. You're fine. Right? Yeah. He probably gets bored after that. We get. We get balls and pussy around here all the time. It's totally cool, man. Wow. Stacy the Girl Scout was selling what instead of cookies, babe? You know, uh, she was very good as a baker. She did incredible things in the kitchen, and uh, when her cookies stopped selling, well, she started selling her muffins. Hey! Betty Summers. It hurts. It hurts when you're a Girl Scout and you can't sell your cookies. It hurts. Mm. Wow. She's not long and hard. I'm in Spokane. They're not buying my cookies. What should I do? All I have are my patches. And then she was like, they're not going to buy my patches. There's six sick people in Spokane. Was it Spokane? Am I right? Yeah. And so she uh, sold videotapes of her eating the cookies. Oh! oh. Made lots of money. There's <laughs> uh, a website. Uh, well, dead silence. Okay. <laughs> Daddy, stop it, baby. I had to say again. It's a deep joke. Gary, uh, Gloria Incognito? Yeah. yeah. Yes, what was she selling instead of her cookies? Well, she sold her hymen, but in return she got her womanhood badge. <laughs> That's a hard one to get. Well, let's go right back. <laughs> Jews, Girl Scouts, we're not even halfway through the first game, ladies and gentlemen. I need a drink. Settle down. We got lots of insulting to do. We all need a drink. Totally fine. Sylvia, yes. say for more. What was she selling instead of? I said that she was selling her Connie instead. Uh, oh, oh, 
Which really is another word for vajiji or vagina. <laughs> I, I didn't know that. I don't like it. There's two. Vincent Grin Louie, you've known a girl scout or two. What are they selling instead of cookies? Well, this girl, she was quite the actor. She, 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 she was smart. She was thinking, I'm in Spokane, there's nothing but a bunch of loggers and truckers and like weird meth Your people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My family and all. We, we so uh, she decided to make some real money and she uh, sold her Cub Scout little brother, Dwayne. <laughs> I bought him. <laughs> Or pussy, but it's not having to change. Say beaver pussy. Oh! It's just too easy, wasn't it? I know. It's an easy one. Freddie King of Pants? Yes. Uh, what was she selling instead of cookies? Uh, I know we just met, but uh, you might not know this. I'm a boy, so I don't know much about Girl Scouts. Okay. Um, but I think they're somehow related to these. Uh, she was selling her brownie. <laughs> Getting a ride answer. <laughs> you know, in our writer, when we signed on, we said, first of all, we're a bunch of assholes. <laughs> Second of all, we need cocktail servers. And we'd like to thank Team and Kirsten for serving yeah! They're what really makes this whole thing funny. So if you can be polite to them and tip them profusely and Where's don't throw as much one? at the face. Throw it at that, I can dry clean this. Just don't throw it at the face. Other than that, we're good. You need another drink. Oh, exactly. You're just going to say All right, Susan. A or B? A now. A. All right, I like it. I was, running out, of, I was running out of B questions. Oh, do you remember our friend Carrot Bottom? Oh. Okay, Susan, for, for your information, Carrot Bottom is a, a vegetarian, homo, homopathic, homeopathic uh, tree surgeon who prop comic, and yeah, and he's a prop comic with orange pubic hair, I believe. Yes, good friend of the show. Votes Republican. Nobody's perfect. He's totally cool. But once a year, Carrot Bottom, our good friend, he takes a bath. He's a dirty hippie. He's so dirty that instead of soap. He has to use blank. Carrot Bottom has been known to pull carrots out of his bottom. He's been known to pull carrots out of his mouth. The same carrot. And he's been known to do all sorts of fun things as a performance artist, as well as a defender of the earth, as he likes to call it. The earth. The earth. So just consider that in your answer. Once a year, that carrot bottom takes a bath. He gets so dirty that instead of soap, he has to use blank. What would you use instead of soap if you were a dirty, vegetarian, hippie, militant, homeopathic, vegetable fire? And what would you, what would you, what would you, uh, what would you bathe with? It's a question of the ages. How are we doing up here? <laughs> Good enough. Ring that bell. You got the song. How are we down here, Sylvia? Sylvia, everyone's ready? Everyone's good? Fantastic. Susan. Did you hear about our friend here, Bob? Okay, good. He, you know, once a year, he takes a bath, and he gets so dirty that instead of soap, he has to use... Patchouli. Patchouli! Oh, God! Why? Knew, if you knew Carrot Bottom, he'd be throwing a knife from L.A. right now. <laughs> you know, Patchouli's a good answer. Because he is kind of... It's kind of a good answer. That even make him a worse hippie. It would make him an even worse hippie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, it's team, ladies and gentlemen.
All right. Big Wheeler. Yeah. What does carrot bottom wash with instead of soap? We got carrot bottom. Really dirty for a whole year going without a bath, and uh, he has to use the purest thing known to man to get clean, and that is the holy tongue of an angel kid. <laughs> What he uses. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read that on a Hallmark card or something? <laughs> no, I, I felt that on his skin. Oh. <laughs> then there's one, I'll touch him once a year and it's right after that bath. Oh, oh, boy, you know. <laughs> Betty Summers, yes. what does Karen? <laughs> You've known Karen Bottom well since the 60s. <laughs> some of his, you know, his cleaning uh, products, and uh, he, he let me know about what he uses once a year, whether he needs it or not, is an apricot sage flesh-eating virus patchouli scrub. <laughs> I guess would be a better word. That's true. Yes. That is true. Well, um, well, I'd say that it was worse than so. Like nothing would cut it. Maybe he's a, a carrot bottom peeler. No. It was right through there. A thick funk. He was so yeah. dirty he had a rind. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the disposal is going all of the time. Right. <laughs> Sense. That explains the tan since he never goes outside. That's not a tan. Sylvia, so, yes, you, you, you know our friend Karen Bottom. Uh, no, I unfortunately don't. But you've seen the uh, criminal profile. Of course. Okay, continue. Yes. Um, again, I kind of went with a straight answer. Um, I know that's hard. Uh, vegetable scrubber. A vegetable scrubber. <laughs> There's no place for logic in Nash Camp, so. <laughs> Vincent Grand Bowie, you guys almost dated once, right? Uh, Me and Karen Bob? Yeah, we were drunk. Well, it wasn't more of a date, it was more of a just like a wonderful evening at the past. There you go, okay. Well, that's what I mean. What does he use for soap? Well, he's a damn dirty hit. And you need something really powerful to scrub all that filthy, grimy crap off, you, wouldn't you? Right. But you're a hippie, so you gotta use sustainable products and shit like that. Fucking <laughs> filthy, dirty hippies. So, what would he use that would be both organic and get you real clean real fast? So, he would probably use the uh, pubic hair of some stupid hippie chick named Rainbow to scrub that. <laughs> They have them at Whole Foods. <laughs> I'm off. I'm off. I don't want to say anything after that. <laughs> I'm pretty ashamed so of that one too, Richard. Oh man. <laughs> Freddie King of Pants. Yes. Carrot Bottom, what is used for soap? Well, I've met a few hippies, and I know to get clean, they really just need an exorcism. <laughs> I know, right? A or B? 
Hey, very good. Very good. Very good. Okay, Micah. Did you hear about the new candy bar named after Andy Dick? Uh. <laughs> it's a chocolate covered blank. <laughs> Did you hear about the new candy bar, Micah? It's named after Andy Dick. It's a chocolate covered blank. <laughs> Andy Dick wanted to be on the show once, but we told him we didn't put up with that kind of nonsense. Ah! No, I'm sorry. It's not true. We didn't answer his call. <laughs> Andy Dick Collins still wants to be on. There's a candy bar named after Andy Dick, Micah. And it's a chocolate covered blank. You're really thinking hard about this, Michael. You could use any form of excrement. Probably get two. I'm just saying. I want to get me snow help from the audience, please. Good. Top table, are you ready? Oh, yeah. yeah. Bottom table, BD? Ready. Okay, that's very good. Ready. Micah? They're making a new candy bar. A Granny Dick. It's a chocolate covered. Well, the abbreviation is PP. PP? Or pretentious prick. A pretentious prick. Ah! Chocolate covered prick. he's killing tonight. He's on fire. There's a reason he's tied. <laughs> I hand over my caftan. <laughs> it's alright, she's got another one underneath it. It's cold up here. Big Wheeler! It's a chocolate covered piece of shit. <laughs> Program. I put a lot of things in my mouth, but even I wouldn't go here. It's a chocolate covered has been with a hollow arid center. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Gloria Olia. Sylvia? He's a chocolate covered cocksucker. Vincent <laughs> Rambo? He's a. A uh, chocolate covered 1990s bar. <laughs> and Freddy. Chocolate covered condom. Hey! Uh oh. Yeah. 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 Are you, you know what? Okay. All right. Both of you are first timers. Micah, Susan. So we have a tie after two rounds, and that will not stand. It will not stand. Mike is doing shots. Awesome. You, you need to pay more attention if this was deal or no deal, man. So what we're going to do, Susan, what we're going to do, Micah... Put it right here. Put it right here. Okay, you're good. We're going to have you stand right here, Micah. And then, Susan, you're going to stand right here. And then I'm gonna say one, two, three, dance off. Yeah. And the music's gonna come from everywhere. Yeah. And these people are gonna start screaming. Yeah. And you are to try to convince them through your dancing techniques and your optionally lack of clothing. Yeah. That you deserve to be champion. Because now it's out of my hands, Michael. It's out of my hands, Susan. It's out of my hands. I have no choice. It's up to you, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. I can't change the champion. Only your efforts and your drinking can produce a winner. It's important. Are we ready, sound guy? We're ready. Micah? Micah? No, it's happening right now, yes. You stand there. Susan, you're right there. Let's give it up for them, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up. One, two, three, dance up! From far beyond the gallery.
overseas and journeyed to this place to study the behavior patterns of the animals. And the other hand, fire their blood. During the tour, they fall in love. She says he's everything she's dreamed of. Choosing 
I enjoy a bacon sandwich. A little bacon salt, <laughs> bacon scrimps, and some eggs. So, a sandwich. exactly. So, <laughs> so what's it going to be, though, Miss Susan? Bacon what? Bacon you need to go rogue and try some bacon chocolate. No, don't do oh. that. Yeah. No. doesn't work out, and he can buy you a drink. Oh, well, if it doesn't work out, I will. What's our number three answer, voice talent? Bacon! Come on, salt, let it be. Ah! What's our number two answer, just for laughs? Number two, oh, bacon! Oh, uh -huh. 
permission. Now we get time to get around the ring. We'll be back in like five, ten minutes. So, bring this up. We'll be back with our second game of dance game. More prizes, more laughs. Come on back and just.